All right, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a first impressions video of FSD 14.2.2. Just got it uh, last night. And I think some people have already gotten 2.2.1. So I don't know that some little bug release or something, but this one is supposed to be much smoother. So let's check it out and see how it does. All right, so <clears throat> we are going to raise donuts this morning. And in the neighborhood, I have it on sloth. And most likely, once I get out on the road, I'm going to change it to Mad Max because the road is always seen as 30 mile per hour speed limit when it's actually a 45. <clears throat> so in order to go to appropriate speed, I have to kick it up to Mad Max. So we'll see if that is still the case today. I mean, honestly, that would be great uh, for a Christmas present <laughs> if it finally got the speed limit correct um but i doubt it <clears throat> i think the navigation data is still bad and so that map data is really i think the the biggest hurdle they have right now with the speeds and also usually the thing that gets me to disengage the most uh is just mapping data or routing that i don't like all right, <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead, before we even turn, get it on Mad Max here. All right, so that was nice and decisive. The uh, other car coming up, well, they're not even passing us, but they were coming up on the left of us, so that was fine. Yep, still has the 30 mile per hour speed limit. Putting it Mad Max allows it to go... 47, which is perfect for a 45. Flashing yellow. Sometimes, sometimes it gets a little hesitant on the flashing yellow. Oh, very smooth. Very smooth. It just slowed down a little bit and there was a gap, so it just kept on going. So it didn't, didn't stop at all. That was nice. Very smooth. All right, so now I'm going to take it back from Mad Max, put it in standard. Now that it has the correct speed limit for this road, I just want to go that correct speed limit. All right, so that is one of the things that's supposed to be better about 14.2.2 is the decisiveness around lane changes. It was very decisive around that lane change, although it usually is there. Uh, it's gonna take some time before I get to interact with it uh, more to see if it is more decisive in most cases. All right, so this I would prefer not to go behind this building. And of course we're gonna do that anyway. There is a big hole in the road here, so we really shouldn't <laughs> shouldn't go here, but that, I mean, it goes around that totally fine. Can't really see it, uh, but yeah, it goes around that hole. I, I honestly, it just really shouldn't go around the back of this building, um, but they removed the chains that were blocking it, so now it uh, tends to navigate around the building like that, which is... A shame because it's not the preferred route. Okay, so parking job here. It's going slow, but I think we did a pretty good job. The, the lines are very faint. I can't even see them really. Um, so I think it's a pretty good job. All right, well, then we will just uh, check it on the way back and see if anything else happens. All right, so perfect drive in and perfect parking job. Now we are going to head back. 
does back out <clears throat> even though there's really no reason to because there was nobody in front of us i would always just you know drive forward in that scenario but for some reason it decided to pull back out of that parking space as if there were cars blocking it. <clears throat> it we also do not have the front bumper cam so that might also be a reason for it to always back out when it has the ability to or uh, option to <clears throat> all right so we do have a turn lane out here in the middle all right it wasn't sure what they were going to do all right yeah that worked out pretty well they weren't going to come across those lanes but it, it wanted to make sure that it didn't strand itself out there i think so that was actually a, a good move a safe move to wait for that so standard profile here with nobody around it seems to be going right at the speed limit which is a little bit odd uh i kind of expected it to be going a little bit quicker than that uh let's see we're going into a 40 and it didn't really slow down so yeah i mean this is a good speed that's uh what the people behind us they probably want to go a little faster actually but maybe i'll put it in no i'll just leave it standard <clears throat> i like to drive it in standard most of the time um and 44 that's a good speed everybody likes to go a little bit faster on this road acting like it's actually a 45 because it comes from a 45 but <clears throat> yeah this is more of a comfortable speed we have some people behind us but we're not going too slow well now we are now we're going speed limit from this direction it does see that it's 45 miles per hour on this road which is weird because on the way out <laughs> it thinks it's 30 on the way back it thinks it's 45 i don't really understand where it gets that 30 miles per hour from i think it's just guessing because it doesn't know but it should have that map data and it does get it right on this direction so still haven't figured out what the deal is with the speeds being the wrong uh speed limit on a lot of roads and it may just be around me but it definitely seems like a consistent thing where it for the past few updates has <clears throat> had problems with speed limits which is unfortunate because it means i do have to intervene sometimes to get it to go the speed i want it to sometimes i have to disengage if it's uh, going too fast or thinks it's too fast for that particular road. All right, so neighborhood driving. I'm going to drop it down into sloth for the neighborhood. So far, perfect. Nothing, nothing to complain about other than, you know, sometimes the speed, uh, I would prefer it to go a different speed than it thinks the road should be, because um, it just has a speed limit wrong. But Mad Max is usually able to solve that. Let's see how it does at parking here.
empty parking lot could park anywhere <laughs> and it is going to nose in here all right so one attempt pulling into the space and pretty close to perfectly within lines all right, so that was an excellent drive. It was a basically flawless. The only thing is uh, we still don't have the proper speed on that road. So it does think that it's 30 miles per hour or it doesn't know what speed it is, I guess. And maybe it just uses 30 miles per hour to be safe. Uh, it is a 45, so but turning it up to Mad Max uh, always solves that for me. But it is annoying because I have to go from sloth to Mad Max because I want it sloth in the neighborhood. I want it to be going in the speed limit or slower even in the speed in the neighborhood. And then on that road, it needs to go about 15 to 20 miles per hour over what it thinks is the speed limit when it's actually not. But other than that, first impressions of version 14.2.2 on our hardware for Model Y here is that it is excellent. So I'll have to give it some more time, but both parking jobs, it was one attempt and it was a good job so that's one thing that i've heard is that parking is fixed or much better in this than it was in 14.2.1 so hopefully that is the case i will uh, obviously test it a lot more because i use it every day but yeah that's it for this one just wanted to to do a quick first impressions of 14.2.2 and <clears throat> hope everybody had a merry christmas so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one